Hey there, welcome back to my pottery studio. Today I'm going to be playing a little bit of Scientist with some sodium silicate. So we're going to apply this liquid to the outside surface of a few of the pieces that I'm going to throw today and then see what kind of textures we can get by applying a little bit of heat to the outside while pushing on the inside of the vessel to kind of belly it out. Uh, I love this process, it's a lot of fun and it's also really interesting to video. I hope you enjoy. Uh, stick around and we're gonna take care of that right now. So I'm gonna pre-pour some sodium silicate into here. This is a very gel type liquid. It doesn't take a whole lot I'm not super great at this yet, but it's so much fun to do. Uh, let's get to it. So I have my cylinder thrown. It is right here. I've smoothed out the sides and tried to make sure my walls were as even as possible. Now I did throw it a bit thicker because what we're going to do is we're going to stretch this out and belly the vessel out quite a bit from where we stand right now. Now I want to make sure that I'm getting it all the way down the piece pretty evenly. all the way down and maybe stop it at the point where I no longer want the texture. I'm going to put that to the side and now I'm going to apply some heat with the heat gun. I'm going to apply heat until it feels like the outside is somewhat hardened. I don't want to apply too much heat and then the whole thing cracks and breaks because there's no more moisture left in it. So my inside is going to be pretty damp, but the outside is going to be pretty hard and stiff. The silicate actually helps to dry the outside faster. So for me, I'm more comfortable using the sponge. So I'm just going to go ahead and start pushing out from the bottom. water to the inside. Oh, starting to see some cracking. Mm. I've got some pretty decent cracking here. I don't know if you can see that that well on the camera. Let's just keep bellowing this out, bellying this out a bit. Now if, you look, if you're comfortable with using tools, you can take a tool on the inside and get even more round. I'm actually pretty comfortable with just the sponge. A lot of fun, this technique. So there we go. We have this fun shaped pot with some texture with very little effort. Let's go ahead and clean up this bottom a bit. That made me this really fun tool to make a nice little foot on the bottom here. Let's get that down in there. round bottom to match the rice round body. I had some extra time and some leftover silicate in that little vessel that I had it poured in so I decided to go ahead and throw a vase 
I really, really like this technique and can't get enough of it. So I'll probably do some more experimenting. And if you want to check out somebody that has mastered the technique, you should follow Kurt Hammerly. He is on Instagram, and I think he's also published a few YouTube videos where he uses the technique to kind of make it look like bark. I might try that eventually. But for now, I think this works great, and I'm really happy with both of the vessels that I threw today. Look at that bellied pot. Jeez, that's gonna look so cool. That texture is gonna look beautiful on a piece once it's glazed. Uh, I did wanna share with you the one that I completed about a week ago. This was the result, let me grab that. So I really, I, I, I had a lot of fun with this texturing. I'm really happy with the results. The reason that I did it was I had made a lidded vessel that failed and I still had the lid and I was like, huh, what am I gonna do? So I experimented for the first time. Deflocculant. Don't ask me exactly what a deflocculant means. We'll learn together. Have a great day and like and subscribe and ring the bell if you want more videos to come into your notifications. From me, Heidi Jacobs from Whitehall Pottery. Have a great day. Bye.